Uh, another solid pick against against a Peach player. Because you do have some of those tools up close. Goddess versus Princess. Not last versus Kimchi. Game one on PS2. It's Kimchi who lands the first hit with a back air. A couple of nares in that washing machine cycle. Although some of these approaching back airs from not last have been very effective as well. That puts on 40% and he just drifted too low. Kimchi shaken up quite a bit. I'm not sure if he expected Peach to potentially ed edge guard the Toad. Or what he was thinking there, but nevertheless, that's the stock loss for Kimchi. And now, as if that never happened, he's just going back on stage with some of these nares and fares. And it looks like not last just drifted out of the way as well. So two early mistakes on recoveries from two of the higher seeded players in today's event. Back air from not last. And now, here's where Peach can put in work for these low percent combos. The dash attack. That up air will trade. Okay, now it's Peach's turn. That forward tilt just getting around the toad counter as well. Really useful if not last wants to do those falling options. Back air from not last. We'll get Kimchi off the stage of the back door. We'll do the same for not last. Looking to get the ledge trump there. He didn't get it in time, but the nair from Palutena. That didn't get nerfed to a lot of people's surprise. It's still as powerful as ever. Down throw. Back here, we'll put him on stage for who knows how long. And now, Not Last is just being a lot more cautious. He's throwing out fares only when he needs to. You know, as an approach option instead of an extension. That Peach Bomber just going to meet Palutena's shield. The kimchi, that back air, is probably going to be the catalyst he needs to get this edge guard. So good recovery from Not Last, just opting to go low. That that up air parry through the platform for Kim Chi, although now he's in a bit of trouble as well. Makes a safe return and gets a bit of damage with that near the boot. Good job from Not Last for avoiding the explosive flame and auto reticle. Dash attack from Not Last. You saw the sparks, but you didn't quite see the kill. Now here's where some of this, you know, real safety first play comes in. That up air, not going to connect with all the hits, and that would have killed otherwise, but that forward throw, not quite. Excellent DI from Kimchi. Not last. Well spaced on the forward smash, and just gets the kill with a dash attack on his own. He'll be the first to enter that last stop territory. Just floats around the explosive flame, although he gets two framed by the down tilt. Floating there. Well, excellent low percent combo from Not Last. He's already tacked on 39%. Although the four dash can be going deep. The Trump not coming out. Four Derek, two in a row from Not Last. He's going for the up smash. That did get nerfed on Peach's part. Uh, it does not do as much knockback if you do not land the full combo for up smash. So if you do not land all the hits, uh, that will not be sending you quite as far. But Kimchi's saying, I don't care about nerfs. I'm Palutena, and I have an option to kill you right now. 93% to make up, and he'll start with a back air. Good low percent combo, and now he's just moving on to this air pressure. Going for the two frame with the down smash. Interesting. Against a character that, you know, that can float in and out of some of these, you know, ledge trapping options. I'm not quite sure if that's the option when you do have auto reticle to, auto -reticle to go for. Although that short hop fare enough or not last to take game one. Hard fought on not fair's part. Uh, not fair. Uh, not last part, rather. What am I saying? Uh, he can, you know, 
Smashville for game two, he can utilize some of these same options. Up tilts, up tilts. Uh, not quite going to reach the platform. So short hop. Fair will be a pretty good pressure tool. Palutena just wants to float cancel and camp those platforms. So not last, you know, will be pressing the issue here, forcing Kimchi to make these approaches. But Kimchi looking to make a comeback on his own. If he wants to do that, he'll need to start with some of these, you know, excellent throws and throw follow-ups. Although not last getting a throw of zone. Up air gets him twice in a row. Not quite a third time. Back air just takes it and rolls inward. Good positioning to get a rapid jab off of it. That traded. Interestingly enough, like that sent uh, not last down below the stage, but only for a moment. The back air coming out from the G. And now off stage pressure from not last going to be who to his detriment as he just gets back aired off stage for his trouble. Dash attack. Just gets a footstool. I'm not quite sure that was intentional, but just gonna float through the platform. Peach Bomber's back to safe. Good timing from Pinchy on the down air, and that Nair won't quite reward him with a kill. Interesting. He might go for it down air. Yep, the DI mix up into that up air. Down throw into up air, so potent. 3.0, 4.0, whatever patch. It's been such a force throughout Ultimate. Although the up tilt from not last looking to close this out before things get too out of hand. Good grab, uh, just showing that he's not going to draw off his really nilly in the face of the counter, although that's fair. On that last part, takes the stock with only 7% to show for it. Quite good from that disadvantage state. Nair coming out from Kimchi. Just barely dips out of that explosive flame. Down throw. Kimchi. Oh no, he gets around the explosive flame. Interesting. So many aerials can, you know, at a distance, at varying distances for the explosive flame to put in work, but. Not that time, not last, knowing the matchup, getting around it. Dash attack out of the fair as well, into the up air. And that trade as well can be in Peach's favor, as time to pull the turn out. Although the back throw, not quite. Uh, he was at around 100%, so you do need a bit more tack on to get the kill there, but not too much off. Uh, not last. Approaches back to the stage for the up -E. Although, how will he escape this ledge pressure? Gets him with a get-up attack. Hill time on the counter for Kimchi's part. Although, he has to. Well, no matter. Fair protects his recovery. Back there from not last. Just throws the turn of his, raises his forehead. And that toad, enough to secure a Palutena. You know, as powerful as your own options are, they're perhaps even more powerful than being used against you. Kimchi just demonstrated. And now, not last with a lead for, I think, one of the first times in this game. How will he be able to capitalize here on Town City? Or, not Town City, rather, uh, Smackville. But, nevertheless, whatever stayed wrong, we're on a one stock situation. Kimchi being the victim of some of these early aerials. Just gonna float below the platform. He's not last. He'll be eating an air for it. Excellent work from not last to just not fall for some of these approaches. If he's not gonna if he's not gonna commit as hard, I won't either. Each bomber gets Kimchi off stage once. The turnip does it twice, doesn't get the kill with the down snap, although he's not too far off. Meanwhile, uh, gets him, doesn't land that last hit of the up special and that wind box coming out from the fourth snap. Meanwhile, Kimchi is approaching kill percent with his damage as well. 
you know, back air will kill. We're approaching the percentage where 20 additional percent will lead to a, with a back throw kill. And then turn up Kimchi at an unsafe 164%. Not last dipping into triple digits gets him back with the forward or with the up special rather and the dash attack just barely into that corner of the blast zone handshake coming up good a good end of the game from not last i would say he had a bit of trouble uh approaching as the first docks were happening but found his footing and that safer play paying off for him